Caitlin Hunter is 21 years old and a fourth-year art student at USM. Sculpture is the driving force in her life. There really is nothing more fun for her than building things. If she could have any superpower, she would want to be able to manipulate hot glue with her mind. <laughs> She's a main resident, a feminist, the youngest of four children. Some of the things she enjoys the most are books of a fantastical nature, wine, Doctor Who, and loads of hysterical laughter. Um, her friend Duncan says, she works all night and laughs all day. She is great, grounded in her sculptural language and her imaginative needs. Uh, Caitlin Hunter, biomorphic meanderings. Okay, so I obviously really like sculpture. And the four pieces I'm going to be sharing with you today are large-scale installation sculptures. All of them are life-size. I can fit in them. You can fit in them. Your mom can fit in them. Sorry, I'm really short. <laughs> um, so what my spaces are all about is I'm really into recreating domestic space. So this is a closet. <laughs> I mean, it's a closet. It's not a closet. Um, so... Um, they're all very large. You can fit inside them, like I already said. Um, my work is very much centered around the domestic space, the home, the family, and like recreating that. This is a large pink arch I made. It kind of looks like a bubblegum monster. And it's um, one of the things I really like exploring is turning a hard surface into a soft surface. So all of this is made out of... Um, wood, cardboard, and then I lay over over it like foam and then fabric. I think fabric is amazing. Um, so like this is an arch and then inside of it um, a lot of the things I play with are finding like uh, found objects or objects I stole from my home, objects from my childhood. Um, those are doll pieces that I am placed in my arch. So when you crawl through um, you could look up. Another thing I like to play with is contrasting colors, um, making the outside, you know, a nice color, and then the inside is really like, ugh. <laughs> Again, with the found objects. Um, I work really additively. Um, I never really make models or roughs of my things. I usually just start with a very general um, you know, shape or a gesture, which is usually laid down with wood and then cardboard. And then I make my piece. This is a bed I made. Um, one of the things I really like to do is really work my surface. And I use a lot of sewing and a lot of patchworking, working, um, which is interesting because I kind of come from a tradition of people who sew and quilt and do patchworking. So I feel I'm kind of like celebrating and rejecting that tradition by reworking that in a different way. Like all that's like patches of fabric that were laid down and the fabric is all sewn. Um, and that's a bed, it doesn't really look like a bed, but it is a bed. Um, and one of the funny things about my work is I kind of invite people to go in it or inside of it, but most people don't find my work very inviting. I, I, I can't really imagine why. Um, so I can't, like, I'm really into um, biomorphic shapes, and I want things to feel like really visceral and really organy, and they tend to look like monsters that are about to eat you, and then I like, try to swindle people to go inside, and this is actually the inside of underneath the bed, um, again with the contrasting colors where the bed arched up, um, that's like the purple roofing. And you know, a lot of the things I use in my projects are like found objects, or I give myself little rules like with this one, I only let myself put things that were on my desk in here. So there's a bottle of like orange liquor, books, um, some like some fun stuff my friends gave me. Um, all that's like fabric and spray foam. Again with the ooze. Like I, I'm really into like gross things. <laughs> so when you go inside, it's like you're almost like inside of an organism. Again, this is like the bookshelf. That was essentially my bookshelf um, in my dorm. So I kind of like exploring like what is a space and what is my space because when you move into a new room, it's not your room. But once you put your own objects in it, it becomes your own space. So like these were all things that were in my room. Again, more fabric.
the next picture, you can kind of see like the scale of what the pieces are with people. <laughs> this is a friend from my class. And like pictures of her crawling in out from under the bed. I found um, one of my friends lent me like this really great flashlight. So I kind of gave people this flashlight and I invited them to, if they so choose, to go inside and explore this space with this giant flashlight, which actually makes people feel really safe because you could hit someone with it. This is the outside. <laughs> Um, this is the outside of my bathroom. Again, it's very large. It, was, um, it started out as a wood structure. And I'm really interested in exploring the transition between materials. So there's, you know, that's wallpaper and carpet that I laid down. And by using a lot of black paint and other materials, I'm kind of like fusing it all together, which goes back to the whole idea of like biomorphism and having like a huge entity that becomes this piece. This again shows the scale. This is inside the bathroom. It looks like a giant, I don't know, inside of a mouth. <laughs> again, with the, con the contrasting colors, this is a toilet that I altered. Um, again, playing with like, the, like transcending the everyday life and like putting it inside a new space and redefining an everyday space in my own way. Um, this is like the shower. There's a large dangly thing that hangs in <laughs> the middle of like the bathroom and it's a very small space like so you kind of had to like touch it but most people didn't want to touch it. <clears throat> and this like this piece is all kind of like about like you know bathrooms are really gendered and like colors are really gendered so playing with like the blue and the pink in the bathroom and this is like inside the shower stall. And like the next, the last slide that's coming up is like a little video clip of, you know, the colors because the colors look really differently when I'm f like when you photograph it, but when people went inside, there was a bright red light, so everything was really dark and moody and scary. And then like as they moved through it, um, there was a strobe light in the shower, so it kind of looked like rain. <laughs> oh, not rain, <laughs> like shower wet water. Thank you. I'd like to talk to you about payment plans for interior design. 